How's it going, friends? My name is Fringy, and welcome to Fringy Frequency for the 13th of February, 2015. This is a topic that has needed to be discussed for a long time. It's part of the reason why I started doing reviews, to address this specific issue within gaming. It's come in a sharp focus over this week that these professional critics are not going to address these issues in their reviews. They're not. And it's stupid that in this day and age, when gamers get screwed over so frequently by gaming publishers with DLC, that these people don't address these topics in their reviews. Evolve just came out, and it's getting pretty good reviews from the critics who are mainly talking about how fun the game is and the solid design. And you know what? I agree with them based on what I've played. However, I am disgusted that out of all the reviews I've read, only one has even mentioned the DLC practices on display in Evolve. I was going to talk about this in the review, but I'll talk about it again now. Evolve has over 40 pieces of day one DLC. I know they're cosmetic, but over 40 pieces of DLC worth over $125. So, in order to buy all of this day one DLC, you would have to pay double the cost of the game for stuff that was developed prior to launch and is locked away from you. Now, I've already talked about how day one DLC is just unacceptable in basically any form. Any form of day one DLC is wrong. It doesn't matter if it's a little skin pack or substantial content. When you support this kind of day one DLC, you are ultimately supporting the cause and the, and the idea that these guys can take content away from you and sell it to you for extra profit. Content that you deserve. You know, I was getting into it with some people on fucking gaming battlegrounds last night. And basically, I was trying to explain that these cosmetic items in Evolve that they're locking away from you, this kind of stuff used to be free. This used to be the kind of thing you unlocked. I remember Ratchet & Clank 3, one of my favorite games of all time. That game had dozens of skins. Guess how you got them? You didn't fucking pay for them. You unlocked them through playing the game. Now... They don't do that anymore. You gotta go buy the skins. And it always starts small. It always starts small, but it's a slippery slope. It gets worse and worse. And Evolve's DLC ex problems extend far beyond that. There's all the pre-order bonuses. Pre-order, get the behemoth. A monster we clearly made before launch and will sell to you for additional cost. And the fact that they clearly taken a hacksaw to the content that was there first and just cut it out. And yet, I have only read one review that even discusses this issue. That review was from Jim Sterling. Every other one, haven't seen them mention it at all. And that is downright dishonest. The fact of the matter is, these positive reviews for Evolve, where these reviewers are giving Evolve 8s and 9s, without even mentioning the downright fucked DLC practices of Evolve, is dishonest. It's dishonest. And those reviews... Don't even bother. Don't bother reading them. Because they're not giving you the full picture. The way I look at a review is that you can't review a game in a vacuum. You cannot simply review the game because games are, sim are never simply just the game anymore. There's always extra things to consider. You gotta consider the longevity of the game, which people like IGN definitely didn't do. You gotta consider the business practices surrounding the game. Because... A review is a buyer's guide, okay? And if you're not covering the aspects of buying that game, then your review is, is pretty much antiquated. Like those stupid dickheads who gave Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes like 9 out of 10 and said it was great. A $30 demo. And they didn't even discuss how that's fucked up in their review. This is the kind of reason why reviews are becoming antiquated. Or at least these reviews from these professional critics instead of, you know, small-time guys like me or even the bigger guys like Angry Joe or Total Biscuit. When you don't cover bad business practices, it pisses people off. Look at the fucking user score of Evolve. It's pretty clear that people are not a fan of this game because of the DLC. Yet the reviewers aren't even mentioning this. It's on the front page of the game! And they're not even mentioning this. This kind of thing should be discussed in reviews. It's really that simple. And the fact that they're not discussing it is just so wrong. But this is not a new issue. This has been something that's been going on for ages. 
There have been so many games that have released where the reviewers have not mentioned the bad DLC practices. How many reviewers talked about Elder Scrolls Online's issues where if you pre-ordered, you get the 10th race? How many of them talked about that issue? Not a lot. I'll tell you that much. How many reviewers would have, were going to mention Dying Light's pre-order bonus? Probably none. How many reviewers talked about how fucked up Battlefield 4 was with its DLC? Hey, Xbox exclusive Final Stand DLC comes out on launch for the game. We made it before launch and we're selling it to you later. How many of them talked about that? Zero. A big nothing. These guys are not... If you see any of these reviews where they don't even discuss bad business practices, don't go back. Don't go back to those sources. It's probably going to be hard for Evolve since none of them are talking about it. But when it comes to future games, make sure that you actually... If you're not informed about the game, you got to research it yourself. Or, hey, come to me. Because this is... I'll explain this right now. This is the reason why I started doing reviews. The fact of the matter is... That when it comes to modern video games, you can't look at games in a vacuum. Yet so many critics do. And it pisses me off. I like to talk about bad business practices. Well, not that I like it, but that I need to. Because it's an important topic that needs to be discussed. And these reviewers aren't doing it. And it's pissing me off. There's a reason why there's like a four point discrepancy between the user reviews and the critics reviews. When you don't discuss the DLC, you are doing your readers or your viewers a disservice. You are. And it needs to stop. It really needs to stop. Because in the modern video game industry where every game has a fucking asterisk next to every piece of content. Where you can buy it later, pre-order and get it. Gotta go to this store to get it. Gotta buy it on Steam or something like that. This information should be made available to you. And this information should bring down a game. That plain and simple. If a game is out to screw you over, it doesn't matter how good the game is. You gotta talk about that and you gotta punish them for it. Because these assholes in the gaming industry actually do care what reviews get. Because unfortunately, and this is unfortunate, meta scores matter. And when a game gets a low meta score, that negatively impacts the sales. So, these reviewers who still use scores, even though they're antiquated, you should be holding these games to a higher standard. You should be discussing the downright fuck DLC practices on display with these games. You should be talking about bad business, implementing that into your review, discussing it, and down and level and putting down the score because of it. That's the only way you can hold them accountable. And they need to be held accountable because they're screwing over gamers. I'll just, I'll end with this. Guys, when you read a review and the, they don't cover bad business, make sure you go somewhere else. Make sure you find the information for yourself. You might as well just look up video game, enter here, bad DLC. And there you go. Seek out reviewers who are like me, who discuss bad business practices. I know they're rare, but they're important. Because as I've highlighted over my last two years on YouTube, this DLC practices and these bad business practices are getting worse. And you can't allow yourself to fall into the trap. Be informed, know your shit, and the reviewers who didn't cover bad business practices, not only in Evolve, but any of the games, got a big juicy middle finger here for you. Fuck you. That's it for Fringy Frequency. I'm Fringy, and as always, have a good one.